Hey guys, it's James. Since I've been talking about reading and I've been holding this book and waving it at you, I thought I'd share some of it with you. Uh, what did I want to say? I wanted to basically say, I heard a quote again, that basically stated that thoughts are thoughts are commodities. They're actually things, you know. The importance of, of having a clear and concise intention, you know. If you read uh, Napoleon Hill, he talks about your major definite purpose, a statement of where it is you aspire to go, where you're aiming for that's very explicit and very precise and how important it is. But it all begins in your mind, doesn't it? It's a thought, you know. Everything around us has started well, apart from everything that man, I guess, has created came from thought at some point. Somebody's idea about how to um, to get somewhere faster than walking uh, and then maybe we got a bike and then eventually a car or houses, how they look, a microwave, I don't know, a DVD player, an iPad, an iPhone was once an idea, a thought that has now come to play such a major and important part in all of our lives, I guess. Although I'm actually a Samsung guy, but you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, think of it, there are manufacturers that make specific um, items just for iPhones, you know, and that's all they do. Or they're car manufacturers now who are uh, producing all their cars with iPhone compatible attachments or plugins, etc powerful just an idea that someone came up with a thought okay so I'm gonna share a few bits from my book think and grow oh as sorry as a man thinketh even <laughs> although think and grow rich is an awesome book as well and uh, this is from the very well one of the very first chapters in the book uh, entitled thoughts and character and I just wanted to share this line where it says a man is literally what he thinks his character being the complete sum of all his thoughts as the plant springs from and could not be without the seed, so every act of a man springs from the hidden seeds of thought and could not have appeared without them. I guess that really kind of sums it up. There isn't much else to add to that. Um, that's it really. I can't think of what else to add to that. So it's important that we're mindful of that basically. Our thoughts are things. They determine where we stand in life, where we go in life, where we don't go, the things we do, the things we don't do. Um, but because if you can't actually see it in your mind, as I've heard it put, you're never really going to see it in reality, in, in terms of things you want to achieve. If you can't see yourself graduating college, you can't ever imagine yourself owning a house, uh, having a mortgage. If you can't ever see yourself passing your driving test, you can't ever see yourself losing weight, you can't ever see yourself happy in a relationship, then you're never going to be. That's the bottom line, you know. Um, I know Oprah says, I've heard Oprah say that she doesn't really believe in luck. She believes that luck, luck is when preparation meets the moment, you know. I've heard that used as well to define success when preparation and opportunity meet. Um, so be mindful of your thoughts as they shape who you are and where you are and also where you're going, okay? Take care, bye for now.